Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So before we jump into the video, I just wanted to mention a couple things. Uh, one, I'm wearing a turtleneck because it's like 48 degrees outside. I do not know what's going on. I just flew back from New York where I think now it's like in the 90s over there. And I come back to the desert and it's like super cold. I'm not complaining, but it's a little confusing. I have to say. Uh, secondly, I'm going to be having a live chat on May 31st at 5 p.m. Pacific time, uh, Pacific Daylight time. So if you can make it, that would be awesome. Um, this particular live chat is going to be focused on knitting um, and the few trips that I've made over the past few months. So if you guys are knitters out there, please join me. So anyway, back to today's video. Um, today's video is all about Tom Ford and I had been asked by a couple of you out there to do a Tom Ford collection video. I have a lot of his lipsticks um, and some eyeshadows and things like that, a lot of his color products, but as I was going through my collection I realized I did not have a lot of his sort of foundation base skin products. So I took advantage of the Ebates um, birthday week, which I think was last week or the week before, um, they were offering 15% cash back on a bunch of retailers and so I went on to NeimanMarcus.com and I ordered a whole slew of Tom Ford base products. So I got a primer, a foundation, a powder, eye primer, um, I even got the brow fiber gel and yeah so I thought it'd be fun to film this video, try these things on with you guys and if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on some of these things and how I achieved this look, which is all Tom Ford except for the mascara, I used um, Too Faced Better Than Sex. Um, if you're interested in finding out how I achieved this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first product I'm going to be applying is the Tom Ford Illuminating Primer. This is one of the um, brand new items that I got from Neiman Marcus. I haven't even opened it up yet so I'm hoping it's kind of like the Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder one um, where it's moisturizing and it just gives like the skin a nice glow so let's see how this is it's one of those um, containers that like you twist and the pump pops up and like the the product is like pushed up which I really really like oh here we go and I'm gonna go ahead and use like a flat foundation brush to apply this. It does have like a very creamy texture, very lotion-like. And it does have like a really pretty golden sheen. Hopefully that won't get too shiny as the day progresses, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna put this all over. It doesn't really have a scent. Um, it feels very nice on the skin. So far I'm very much liking this primer. It's giving me that glow that I really, really like. It feels great. It's very, very moisturizing. I think if you have oily, even combo skin, you may not like this. I have very dry, sensitive skin, so I really like things that are moisturizing and glowy and just kind of give me the help that my skin needs. It is um, a little similar to the Victoria Beckham uh, one in that it does give you a glow. It does feel very moisturizing, but I do think the finish is very different. The Victoria Beckham one is a little bit more uh, shiny. It's a little bit more glowy. This one has like, you can see, you can obviously see all the, the glow that it's giving me, but it has more of like a satin finish as opposed to the Victoria Beckham, which is like very sort of, as she likes to put it, that sweaty, sexy look. So. Um, that to me is um, a pretty big difference, especially if you don't want something that's like too crazy or if you feel like you are actually going to be sweating yourself later. That may be too much. So. Um, and next I'm going to be trying a new foundation, uh, new to me, not new to Tom Ford in any way, but this is the Traceless Perfecting Foundation with SPF 15 and I got it in the color Ivory. Hopefully that works. Um, that's the danger of ordering stuff online, but thankfully you can always return it. So again, it comes in one of those bottles, just like the primer. So I'm just gonna pump a few pumps onto the back of my hand. This color actually does look pretty good. So the texture is um, similar to the primer. It's a lotion-y texture, it's not very runny. And I'm going to be using a brand new brush, um, a Tom Ford brush. Where did I put it? The Cream Foundation Brush, it comes in this box. This is what the brush looks like. 
It's not completely round. It's uh, pinched slightly. It's domed on top and it has a really soft minky feel to it. It's really, really quite lovely. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush. I happen to really like using brushes to apply my foundation. Occasionally I like sponges just depends on my mood but when I do use a foundation brush I do like them on the smaller side so I'm just going to dab my brush into the foundation and start working that in I think the color is pretty good maybe a little bit warmer than what I would normally use I like foundations that are fairly neutral um, but this one is nice the coverage is I would say a light to medium coverage I can tell already it's building up very nicely. There's no heavy scent to the foundation. It actually has like a light, a light scent, which is actually very nice. And the finish is, I would say like a demi matte. It's not fully matte. I don't feel like my skin looks like it's dried out. It just um, has sort of a natural finish. I think over this primer, I'm not going to be able to tell the true finish of this foundation, but it definitely is toning down the primer. Um, I don't feel like I look quite as glowy anymore. So that's the foundation on. It definitely has um, more of like a medium coverage now that I've applied it um, and have blended it in a little bit. Um, I feel like the coverage is, is decent and it's a little bit more than I'm used to. So um, I would say it's definitely a medium coverage. This brush is amazing. There were some loose fibers because um, this is the first time I'm using it so hopefully it will shed all of its loose hairs um, over the next couple of uses but so far there's another one um, but so far I love it. So next up is concealer. I did purchase the Tom Ford concealing pen in 01 light. I'm really interested in trying this out. I've heard very mixed reviews. Some people really like it, some people don't. Some people find it very drying under the eyes. So I am very interested in testing this out myself. So this is what it looks like. Um, it has like the little spongy tip at the top and I'm assuming I just twist this up to get product. Okay, so after twisting it about a thousand times, the product comes out um, through the center of the sponge at the top there. I hope this is light enough. This is the lightest color, so hopefully this works. Um, I'm just going to dab it right underneath my eye. I'm going to attempt to use this sponge applicator to blend it in, but I have a feeling I'm probably going to end up using my fingers or brush. I'm just gonna use my finger. I think it's easier. <laughs> the coverage is pretty decent. I wouldn't say it's very high coverage. It's not like the um, the NARS Soft Matte Concealer, which I've been loving lately. I think the coverage is pretty nice though. It's very, very natural. I don't find it to be drying at all. The consistency is, it's not terribly thin. It's not like a serum concealer, but it's not super thick either, which is, which is actually really nice. This dispenser, I'm not exactly sure if I like this kind of packaging. I have to say though, this is the lightest color and so if you're any lighter than me, I'm not sure that this would work very well. So that would be my one criticism of this uh, concealer is that if it works for me, it's it's not light enough It's if it's the lightest one. So that is the concealing pen in 01 Light. I do like it. I think um, that it provides um, like a decent amount of coverage. It's not super, super thick. Um, but it's not thin um, like my By Terry concealer, which I really like. That is a much more natural sort of look. Um, again, my only complaint is this packaging, which I don't, I don't really like, um, and that this is the lightest color, which is not like that. So moving on, I also purchased the Fiber Brow Gel in Espresso. I was intrigued by this because my probably my hands down favorite brow product in general is the Glossier Boy Brow. I just love how easy it is. You just swipe it on. It gives like my brows volume. It fills in spaces. It keeps them um, under control. It kind of just does everything in one swipe. So um, so I was sort of intrigued by this. So this is um, the fiber brow gel like I'd mentioned. It comes 
in this little tube, which looks like a mascara, and it looks like the spoolie is a nice little teeny tiny size, but not too teeny tiny. I don't like the ones that are like super teeny tiny because I feel like, what's the point? So this is just um, on the smaller side. This seems to be the right color. It's espresso again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and brush this in. You know what? I really like this color. The Glossier Boy Brow, the brown can be a little bit too warm and light, and then the black can be a little bit too black. This kind of falls right in between. I also like that not too much product ends up on the brush when I dip it in. With the Boy Brow, I kind of have to like swipe it around and make sure I don't have too much. It can end up obviously looking really clumpy in the brow. Wow. That really filled in my brows. Did you see? Just like with one swipe, I feel like my brow is like, kapow. Let's see how that dries down. Not too stiff. It's not like um, when I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, my brows will be like crunchy. It doesn't have that feeling. It definitely is more of like a pomade than a gel. Oh, I like that. Moving on. So I also purchased the Shade and Illuminate brush. Uh, which I was super intrigued by. It basically looks like a gigantic concealer brush. So it's like flat um, and it's not very pointy at the top. It's pretty flat. So I thought this would be great for like face cream products like um, cream highlighters, cream bronzers, things like that. So I'm going to use this to apply some um, of the Tom Ford Shimmer Shot in Spin Sugar. This is not new to me. Um, I've had this uh, for a while now. I think last summer is when these came out. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna just go ahead and squirt just a bit on uh, the back of my hand. This is what it looks like if you're unfamiliar with it. I'm just gonna go ahead and dip it in. Just take a little bit. Brush that across. Ooh! <laughs> Brush. I actually haven't used these shimmer shots in a while and I forgot how um, intense they could be. And with a brush like this, the application is going to be pretty, pretty intense, that's for sure. More intense than a, like a, a sponge or something. Down my nose here. Uh, I'm gonna take my foundation brush and actually blend that in a little bit. Make sure the edges are soft. So this um, shade and illuminate brush is great for very sort of like precise application. So I definitely like laying down product with this brush, but this is definitely not a brush that I would use to try and like blend things out. Um, I would just I would just follow it up with like a finger or with like a foundation brush if you use that one if you kind of want to blend out edges and stuff. But I do like this. This is very, very effective. Okay, I think that's all the cream product I'm going to lay down, liquid or cream product I'm going to lay down. So I'm just going to go ahead and powder um, very lightly. So I purchased the um, translucent finishing powder. And I got it in number two, Ivory Fawn. I think I should have gotten the lighter color, um, but I, I don't know. I don't personally like powders that are too light. I usually err on powders that are a little bit darker. Um, but I don't know. I, it kind of didn't click for me, but they say, you know, this is a finishing powder. So I wonder if I should not be setting my under eye with this, if it's going to look a little too, I don't know cakey, so I'm not going to risk it. I will use this at the very end. Um, so I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder, and I have it in the shade 1 Fair, and sort of uh, set down where I'm definitely going to be putting powder like um, bronzer and, and blush. I really like this brow gel. Uh, let me bronze up. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Tom Ford bronzing powder in gold dust, not new to me. Um, and I'm gonna use a, um, a big fluffy kind of brush and just sort of warm up the perimeter of my forehead here. And uh, shade out my cheeks a little and my jawline. 
All right, and then let me go ahead and put on some blush. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Tom Ford Cheek Color in Inhibition. That's hard to say. It's this uh, powder blush. Um, it has like a peachy hint of color to it. I'm gonna use my um, Hakuhodo brush. This is the S111. I love this brush. This is like squirrel, I think blue squirrel. It's soft yet it picks up a ton of product. It's like a magical, a magical brush. Well worth the money. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it kind of back on my cheekbones. And then next, I'm going to use the Reflex Guilt Highlighter. Um, love this. This is uh, part of the new summer collection. I can just sit here and do this all day. Um, I'm gonna use the top, uh, the top color, which is the lighter, more goldeny color. I'm gonna use my Anastasia highlighter brush. Just basically go over where I apply the shimmer shot to kind of just bring that out a little bit more. And I'm actually gonna go into this darker color here, just a little bit, really tap off the excess and just sort of hit my cheekbone right here, almost on top of the highlighter right there, but just to give it a little bit more punch. And then um, I'm going to use, so this is uh, something I purchased uh, with the rest of this stuff. This is the Eye Primer Duo. And I don't think I've seen a lot of people use this, but I was really intrigued. I'm always sort of looking for the right primer. So uh, the Eye Primer Duo. So I think, I think what I'm gonna do is um, use the cream product on the bottom and lay that down first and then um, pat the powder on top. So I'm gonna take a concealer brush and uh, dip right into the cream product. It almost looks like concealer. And I'm gonna just apply that to my lid here. It goes on nicely. It has um, a bit of a tacky feel. Um, it's definitely uh, moist, moister. That is a disgusting word. It is definitely more moist. I'm gonna have to find a new word. Um, then like the paint pots or the NARS, it is not quite as uh, wet as the Urban Decay. And then I'm gonna go right in with the powder. I'm just gonna apply that right on top. This is very translucent. It doesn't seem like it's leaving too much of a, like a white powder on my lid, which is good. All right, eyes are primed. So let's move into some eyeshadow. I brought out two quads, um, Coco Mirage, which is like um, a staple for me. I use this one quite a bit. Like if I don't know what to do with my eyes, I just pull this out and I just, you know, do something very neutral and basic and it always comes out looking um, exactly the way I want. And then I pulled this out, which I haven't actually used yet. Um, I don't think I'll be putting the blue on, but this is uh, Last Dance. Um, I like the neutral colors in here. I like that there's like this green and um, this sort of brownish khaki color. So um, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do and I thought, well, maybe I'll end up using both. So I'm gonna go right into a transition shade. I think I'm gonna go for it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, Last Dance. I'm gonna use this color, which is a little bit darker than I would normally start out with, but let's try it. And start to slowly shade out the crease here. And then next, I'm gonna go ahead and use this, um, the green color to um, sort of darken up the lid uh, and the outer corner. I don't think this brush is working for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and try a Morphe brush. This is a little bit, uh, it's a little bit less dense. It's a little bit softer um, and a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna go back into that green color. Let's see what I can do here. Yeah, this is like blending the shadows more nicely, I think. Okay, and I'm gonna take um, 
this duo fiber brush and dip into this uh, lighter color up here and sort of use that to pack on the lid on the uh, on the inside and also kind of use it to blend these other colors out. This color is very pretty. It is not um, completely matte. It has like just a hint of like a satin finish. All right, I like this eye look. It's very different for me. These colors are not colors that I would normally use. I like that it's just sort of this like nice wash of color. It's not like green. Um, but I'm gonna go in to the Coco Mirage. I'm gonna use this light um, color to sort of just accent my brow bone. And I'm gonna use a teeny tiny um, brush to just sort of get it under there. I also have a few of his eye definition eyeliners. Um, and I took out moss and burnished gold. Moss is um, like a dark green, and burnished gold is like a, like a burnt antique gold. So I think what I'm gonna do is line my waterline with the burnished gold and see how that goes. Again, not something I normally do, um, which is line my waterline, but I thought, what the heck? Let's go for it. I'm gonna get in real close to my mirror here. Okay, so I've applied burnished gold to my waterline. I don't know if you guys can see that that well on the camera, but it adds just a nice kind of like brightness under there, which is pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Moss high definition eyeliner and line um, my upper lash line. And I'm gonna do that off camera because, <laughs> because one, it's hard to do on camera, and two, it's probably incredibly boring to watch. So. Okay, I'm back. So I applied the Moss eyeliner to my uh, upper lash line, and then I just went ahead and curled my eyelashes and used some mascara. Um, I do not have a Tom Ford mascara. So I used um, my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which is one of my favorites. So before I started the video, I really couldn't decide which lipstick um, or lip product to use from Tom Ford. So I figured I would wait until now, until you know I had the rest of my makeup on to decide. So I think what I'm gonna use is um, the Warm Sable color. And this is what it looks like. This is probably my favorite lightest nude from Tom Ford. I tried like the Sable Smoke and the Blush Nude, and I like those, but I tend to have to pair those with a darker lip liner, otherwise they look I know they kind of wash me out. So anyway, I really like the warm sable. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of this. So that is warm sable. I really like it. I love all of his lipsticks, honestly. Anyway, uh, so before I finish up here, I do wanna use that finishing powder that I purchased. Um, yes, the translucent finishing powder in Ivory Fawn. I am not going to use the brush that is included, which is this, uh, I don't know, it's almost like a contour brush. But this is what the Ivory Fawn looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my like thousand year old Giorgio Armani brush, which is like completely misshapen, but I just love it. <laughs> Tap off the excess and just lightly go over my entire face. I don't know that I like this powder. I feel like it kind of aged my forehead a little bit. On the rest of my face, it's okay. But I feel like it kind of um, made my forehead look a little bit dry. But I do also really, really like this foundation and the concealer and everything. I don't see that it's um, creasing in any way. And the foundation is nice. It is definitely holding up so far. And I've been filming this for quite some time now. So. Um, so, so far so good. So I'm going to use my um, Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist and just set everything down. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like this look um, and liked trying on all these things for the first time along with me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe below. I would really appreciate it and I will see you in my next video.